Richard in Vermont, you're on the air worldwide. Hi, uh, Alex. Yeah, I spoke with you yesterday. I'm the guy that built the submarines there for 13 years. And, yes. Uh, uh, I was telling you about the Mark I, uh, uh, yeah, Mark One, Mark Two, Mark Three. Okay, that was uh, you were wondering, and I were I was wondering uh, what we saw fall out of that cloud of smoke from Number Three. On the article that you guys have posted, and I've seen it all over the internet today by uh, Kirk James Murphy regarding the Chern Chernobyl on steroids. There is one paragraph in there which gives a pretty good indication of what's going on here, and I checked the schematic diagrams of the, the uh, Mark I uh, reactors, and these particular reactors, not the two and three, but these particular ones have got their spent fuel rods sitting on top of the container. No, vessel. I saw that in the news. They admitted that the spent fuel rods are sitting inside of the containment deal. That's what it looked like to me shooting up in the sky. On top of the containment vessel. In other words, when that explosion went, there was enough there was enough pressure underneath the bottom of that to shoot that containment vessel with those spent rods in it. It says right here, uh, I've got the... the uh, Give me the headline right on that because, because I did see that in a whole bunch of articles. It just, side note, mentioned that in several of the reactors sitting inside on top of the containment vessel are the spent fuel rods, and that was the fire uh, at number two that actually caught... Some no, it was number four that caught some of those on fire. Wow! Again, hidden in plain view, putting our heads together, uh, Richard. Uh, specifically, what's the article? Because it's I got a sea of them here uh, that had that about the spent fuel rods. Uh, if we just search spent fuel rods fire, caught uh, it'll show you all the articles that have it. Man, a fire fuel rod fire at Fukushima reactor would be like Chernobyl on steroids. And it was let me see. Fuel. Let me let, let me write it. Fuel rod fire at Fukushima. At Fukushima reactor would be like Chernobyl on steroids, and it was written by J uh, Kirk James Murphy, who is an MD. He's a he's a doctor. And what do we repost that from? What's the original source? Uh, it's on your front page of Infowars.com, and it is one of the highlighted articles down there that, uh, if you click on it, uh, was, uh, uh, the original source was FDL, uh, whatever that is, uh, all right, I, I see it. I'm going to get Watson yep. on this. This is hidden in plain view. We're more than 24 hours out of Fukushima 3 blowing. Did Fu So so the, that Mark 1 was, because I yep. saw that, uh, absolutely, okay. spent now, fuel listen, rods listen the sitting on, which are highly radioactive, sitting on top of the containment vessel, and that's what it looked like was rod casing shooting up into the sky. Those are plutonium that's mixed in there. In, yeah. Inside of that, inside those spent rods are plutonium rods. Those things fall into the water or anywhere on the ground around there. Absolute shit is going to hit the fan because those things are going to get into the water. And like we were talking yesterday, a particle of dust. Like if you were dusting your furniture and you see all these little, you have a little ray of sunlight shining no, through you. it. Sir, incredible One info. Guys, get me Watson on air right now, please. Please, I'll call him. I want him stand to call him on his cell phone. It's the only thing he ever answers. I want him on air right now. This is an emergency situation. Yeah, because well, he won't answer his home is what I'm telling you. Uh, the, 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 uh, Richard, this is huge. You know why this is huge? Because I read that in AP, an article after article this morning. Oh, there was a fire at two and a thing at four. And yeah, they, and I read plant after plant, multiple ones. They're storing the spent fuel rods uh, inside uh, of the uh, uh, the main uh, containment shield, but but on top of uh, the uh, the the containment vessel of the active uh, 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 rods. And you're right. The Mark One is seven percent plutonium, ninety three percent uranium. Those would be uranium plutonium rods. Oh my gosh! Because they're all saying, "Don't worry." It's safe. It's inside. They know full well with the design that it blew them sky high. Oh, my gosh. That's why we've been on air for almost five hours. We're putting our heads together, hidden in plain view. Whoa. Whoa, man. That means fallout. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine those things when they get hot are basically like graphite 
fall apart easily, especially spent rods that have already been in heat. How much of that would be aerosolized? How much of that would be aerosolized, Richard? R Richard's gone. We got Paul. Uh, Paul Watson, are you there? Yeah. Okay, I'm actually staggered right now, Paul. This is an emergency situation. I know you've already written three articles today, busting your butt. You're six hours ahead of us. You are my number one guy to get this right. I want you to take notes right now. This is an emergency situation. Now, I have literally this morning probably read 50 or more articles in entirety. I'm just putting some background here so people know where I'm coming from. I am exhausted. So you're going to have to dig this out. But it's everywhere. But I know I've read it in no fewer than 10 or 12 articles and, and put the one on screen that has the links to the mainstream news. I'm going to give this to Watson as a source right now. Listen to me carefully. Fuel rod at Fukushima reactor would be like Chernobyl on steroids by FDL, Kirk, James, Murphy, and MD. Now listen. This is what's key, my, my friend. This is what's key. I have read it in article after article, and we just had the guy that worked on nuclear submarines. He looked up the, sch the schematics of a Mark I General Electric uh, MOX reactor that's 7% plutonium, 93% uranium driven. And I read this in article after article after article, and it's in that article. But you've got to search the term spent fuel rods fire. Spent fuel rods fire. That will bring you up the up teen jillion. Because if I saw 10 or 12 I read without looking, I just saw it in the footnotes, didn't know what I was seeing. I was like, hmm, spent fuel rods caught on fire, but they were able to put them out. And, and knowing that that would release some stuff. Well, guess where they store it? And this is in the news, hidden in plain view. No one has picked up on this. People are saying, oh boy, if there is a fire with these, which has now happened, it'll be Chernobyl. Forget that, there was an explosion. They store on top of the containment vessel, uh, inside, on top of it, inside the dome, inside the blast shield, you know, the main uh, uh, you know, overall containment dome, they store because they're highly toxic and radioactive, the Mark One uranium plutonium spent rods on top of it. I know I, when he said it, bingo, because I read that in article after article after article, because at the other plant that blew up uh, today, uh, I think it was four, they were storing them in there too, but it's a different design. At the Mark One, and he looked up the schematics, they are on top of it. So they're not with, so the don't worry. Okay, we have a breach at two, probably at four, but it's only little. The seals may be broken. Some may get out. The truth is they were storing inside the main containment dish over the, 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 the internal containment of the active reactor, the spent fuel rods of the last bunch that the Mark I had used. It's been there for 40 years. And looking at it, studying nuclear reactors, I know what rod casings look like, and I blew up the video and saw black rod casings and set it on air yesterday when it blew up at Fukushima 3 that that looks like, uh, you know, the guts of a reactor. Well, of course, they've got all the old pulled spent batteries sitting there, still deadly radioactive, and so it was the big, it, it makes, it, 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 it makes, it makes, Chernobyl looked like a joke, and, and, and Bob Bowman has now agreed this is his biggest Chernobyl. It's going into, this is past that. You understand? Massive cover-up, Paul. They were storing spent plutonium, uranium fuel inside the overall containment facility over the sealed container over the active system. And it's all over the news. But it's hidden there, no one paying attention, no one understanding it. Took a guy that worked on nuclear submarines to call in and connect the dots. And this is horrible news, Watson, but we've got to warn people. So the issue is you can show that it's not just a fire at other areas getting into these, that if indeed they were storing the fuel rods, which you can find the news from memory. Again, I've read this all, but I'm telling you now we're moving fast. Look it up. Find it. They were storing rods, the evidence shows, inside, not the sealed container. Not, not in the sealed area, which they're now saying several of them are breached, at least one. But not just it, a seal broken, ejecting in that huge mushroom cloud the, 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 the last group or more 
of just the news is saying some of them have repeated groupings into the air and one particle of that it kills somebody watson uh, what do you say about this information uh there's an npr story which basically says the same thing called spent fuel rods now a concern at nuclear plant and it has a graphic which shows them stored next to the actual reactor core yeah, but to be specific, so, yeah. in the Mark I, it's not within the sealed uh, 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 final containment. They, 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 were, they are sitting inside of the overall containment facility that blew sky high. That's what we've got to look into. Yes, we know that in some of the other plants, they caught on fire the, the spent fuel rods. Um, hold on one second. My wife keeps calling me. Hold on one second. Uh, hey, honey, I'm still on air. I'll call you back, okay? All right, this thing's the situation is deteriorating. Okay, um, well, okay, there it is. They have a map of it. Is that from NPR? And there it is, spent fuel rods. Um, blow that up so I can read it, please. Uh, thank you. Um, okay, it won't get any bigger than that. Uh, are they saying that's the Mark One? We're not talking about number four that got on fire today. They're talking about that's number two reactor that also blew up. And they're saying that spent fuel rods. There you go. They were able to blow it up. <sighs> okay. I usually can take breaks, folks, and get my wind back for here on air. But, uh, Watson, I'm going to take a five-minute break. Uh, you've got the floor. Give people the latest you know at Prison Planet InfoWars. And you talk for five, ten minutes. I'm going to go do some research on this and nail it down. But you've got to ferret this out. The Mark I was storing them inside, not the main containment vessel, but, in, but, but, but above that, what do they call the larger dome? The, uh, the main containment concrete system, it's stored, uh, it stored inside that, not in the main containment vessel within it. Uh, so we've got to ferret this out, what Richard in Vermont was saying. Um, is Richard still on hold or is he gone? We had to drop him. Um, and I'm trying to think through all this right now. Paul, you got the floor. Give me a break, okay? Go ahead.